So let's start by creating a blank project and let's save it. and let's create a color bi So Let's make a copy. So we will have these two dialog, uh, two buttons, which will be used to call two different dialog boxes. So let's first uh, create a new dialog box, and it will have just two buttons on its front panel OK and cancel and maybe let's place a string Let's just simply place a event structure. We just waits for either of the two buttons to be pressed. Let's save it. So if we run the VI, you see all these scroll bars, toolbars, and all these things that uh, we really don't need. So first, let's uh, And 
let's resize the front panel to show the area that we want to be shown. Let's save it. So we want all these things to be not visible. So we can go to File, VI Properties, and fair, from there we can go to the Windows Appearance, and from there we can select Dialog. And you can see the preview over here. So what this this does is that if we run the VI, you'll see that there is no menu bar, no toolbar, and no scroll bars. Just a simple, neat and clean, dialog-looking interface. If a VI contains consecutive dialog boxes that appear in the same screen location, we should organize so that the buttons in the first dialog box do not directly line up with the buttons in the next dialog box. Users might double click a button in the first dialog box and unknowingly apply click a button in the subsequent dialog boxes. Let's create a copy. Let's call it dialog two. And let's just move these uh, buttons. to a different location. And let's come back to our main BI. Let's also save this. Let's call it color VI. And if the button dialog one is pressed, then we will launch Then we will launch, if button 2 is pressed, then we will launch dialog 2. So let's give it a try. and we have placed the buttons in different locations. Users also might attempt to use the keyboard shortcut Control Z to perform an undo operation while a VI is running. This can cause unexpected behavior in dialog boxes such as closed dialog box reopening. 
uh, but to observe that let's uh, change the text here in dialog 2 let's save it close it and run the VI so let's run first dialog box second dialog box and now let's press control Z observe I'm just pressing control Z and this is not the behavior that should be happening So, one way uh, to fix it is to customize the runtime menu to, for example, not include these undo's and redo's So if I run the VI now, the menu does not have those control Z undo and redos. So if I launch the VI, the dialog box, and now if I press control Z, observe that nothing is happening. So we have fixed this problem. There is another way of uh, fixing this uh, problem, but first let's uh, change the runtime menu back to default. Now, what we can do is yet we can go to this uh, event structure and we can select this filter event menu selection app now let's go back once more to the runtime menu to see that the undo is called app underscore undo this is the item tag let's place a case structure and connect this item tag let's place the item tag app And let's have a or maybe let's have a LED or a checkbox. So that when we want to we can discard uh, this event
So let's go back. So run the VI. The edit menu does have uh, undo and redo. Yeah, but uh, let's uh, stop for a moment and add a let's say string control in which we can show the undos and redos. So let's run the VI. Let's make some change. Let's say one, apply it, then let's change it to two. Now if I do the undo, then we go back to one. Let's redo, which is two. Now let's prevent the undo by discarding it. So if I turn it on, and even if I do uh, let's let them but uh, observe that it is the text is lab you two so if I do undo nothing happens because we have discarded the event now let's check the dialog boxes first one launch the second one now let's while the undo is be being discarded let's use control Z and as you can observe that nothing is happening I am pressing control Z so these are the two methods of preventing undos from accidentally relaunching the closed dialog boxes by using either the uh, edit uh, option of discarding the uh, event using the event structure or by editing the menu and removing this uh, control Z undo feature and the last point is that we should be using system controls located on the system palettes in dialog boxes that we create instead of these we shouldn't be using these uh, modern controls and we should be using these system buttons instead so let's replace these uh, actually we should be doing that in the dialog boxes so here is our dialog one and we should be using the system button here replace with system string so now things are looking much neater so let's go and check the appearance run the VI launch the dialog box and they are now looking much neater and cleaner